first. Okay, another pedal. PJ Masks! Actually, I'm gonna use this green and I'm going to do a PJ Masks leaf. Now, I actually like to do writing on my stuff a little bit. So this has the P part in there. Right around there. Hopefully, for your guys' sakes, I'll fast forward parts of this video so you don't have to watch me cutting stuff out and drawing it. Boring. Of course, I suppose you could always just fast forward it instead of watching me do it, but you might miss something vital. Hmm. Leaf cut out. That goes in our bag for assembly. This much of our flour left. Well, you get the idea. I'm gonna fast forward this part and I'm gonna cut out all the other parts here. You can watch me do that. Woohoo! And then we are going to assemble the whole thing in slow motion. start talking now because I will probably start putting this uh, fast forward at this point. Okay, so you should have a collection of all of your little clippings somewhere. Hopefully they aren't just laying around your table. Otherwise they start to make a real mess. And you want to get these guys out and start assembling on here on your background, your flower. Now, this is sort of like the puzzle making part here. You may have forgotten exactly what your drawing looked like originally. I know, I have not. My mind is like a steel trap. You want to assemble these guys. got a pretty good idea of what those are going to look like. this is making a project that you actually do it simple enough. If you have it too complex, well, you just, it'll be a longer project. I'm sitting here, going down little petals and trying to make them, you know, fit and everything and trying to line up where each one goes. Oh, did this go, one go here? No, it went over there. And especially bad if you start gluing them down because you're not paying attention. Then you have to peel them up. But, you could get pretty complex with this and do some pretty awesome washes. I 
I also don't like to put the paste on too vigorously because I like it to look like there's pieces that are kind of peeling up and off of the page, which makes it a little bit three-dimensional. This is what I have so far. So I'm gonna glue down, let's see, a couple other blossoms. Now I cheated and did a couple of my blossoms all together, all at once. Uh, and you could do each, not blossoms, but petals. You can do each petal uh, individually, depending on how many you have take a little while or you could do them like how I did and have them all in one color but I cut out a couple of each one color and then I started cutting them apart and doing individual ones to lay down on there that also helps me remember where exactly they go and to finish this guy off I'm do the center here Boom. there we have a done springtime flower and like I said, for those of you not into springtime flowers, nothing's stopping you from doing a skull. You could really do anything with this. You can do a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. All right. Butterflies are pretty stupid. Anyway, so another thing I like to do is draw on these a little bit, which you could do with your Sharpie. So you might want to come back in and add a little bit of definition to your flower here by drawing in some details on there. Some people don't like to do this. I suppose as a collage person, purist, this might be cheating a little bit. I like to add a little bit of definition and detail on there. And we're done. I will see you for our next project in about two weeks.